Welcome back guys. Today we're going to build a blackjack game using Python. Um, I've written out the rules not to waste time because this will probably be a lengthy video. Um, so obviously the purpose of blackjack is to get closest to 21 without going over. In our game, both the dealer and you will get two cards in the beginning. You'll see one of the dealer's cards in the beginning. Then the dealer will get one additional card only and they must take the third card if the sum of the first two cards the dealer received was less than 17. You can take as many cards as you like. But something to keep in mind is if both you and the dealer go over 21, then the dealer wins. And in, in our version, jacks, queens, kings, and aces you know, these are the face cards, are all worth 10 points, uh, which is a little different than real blackjack, but that's okay. So let's get started. We're going to have to um, import in a module called random. This is going to function as the way that cards are dealt. Even though it says random, it's a pseudo random uh, a number generator there is some sort of pattern behind it but for our purpose it should be okay so let's define our list of cards and we're gonna do that using a list so we're gonna make a list it's gonna have twos threes fours five six seven eight nine ten and then you can have a jack and have a queen you can have a king and you can have an ace. But these are all the cards someone can get dealt um, during the game. So in order to deal these cards, we're gonna use the random uh, module that we that we brought in. And let's call the com let's call the, the dealer the computer in here. So the computer, so the first card, obviously the both you and the dealer get two cards. So the first card for the computer is going to be defined by random dot choice and cards so what basically this is doing is this is randomly going to choose a value from here and bring back one value which is kind of similar to how you pass out cards and then the second card will be random dot choice so this is how it's defining the two cards that the dealer receives so let me just print this out so we can all see what's coming out Print part one and let's print the second one so when we run it it's 10 and jack this time seven and five and as you can see that it's changing because it's randomly choosing a value from our list that we created drop back two tens alrighty so we got our two cards that the dealer will have defined now. All right, so we want to make a statement that prints out the first card because according to our rules, we can see one of the dealer cards in the beginning. So we're going to say dealer's first card is and then we're going to put a variable here a bracket and then do format and bring back the first variable so this when it runs it's going to bring back this sentence when we print it with the variable with the value corresponding to that variable so we can print this sentence dealer's first card is a four and that's how it's going to appear when we run our game. The one thing we still need to define is an empty list. And the purpose of this empty list will be to hold all of the cards that someone can get. So from a dealer perspective, they can, they're, they're definitely going to get two cards, but they can get a third card based on if there's, if the sum of the first two cards is less than 17. So, we want to be able to hold all of those cards together. So that's what this empty list is going to do. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to append the first card that we received and the second card so they're found in our list so that way we can reference them later on if we want to call them out so you can see so we built out the code to get the two cards um, and now we have to figure out a way to have a dealer total where it takes the total or the sum of the cards that a dealer has received but you can also see that our cards values which are here can be either um, integers which is 2 3 you know basically 2 through 10 or they can be strings which is these jacks queens kings and aces so we know that we can't add a integer in a string because that wouldn't make sense <laughs> so we have to figure out a way to convert these string values to a numeric value so we can use them and we will do that using an if statement so basically what we're gonna do is if the if the card that the dealer receives so we're first gonna uh, worry about the first card if the first card is equal to a jack or is equal to a queen or is equal to a king or it is equal to a ace we're going to make a new variable here which will be the comp val 1 which is going to be the value and that would be equal to 10 and this is what we had defined in our last rule here right jacks queens kings and aces are all worth 10 points so this is so basically if the first card that the dealer receives is a jack queen king or ace we're going to convert that to a 10 because we'll be able to use that 10 when we're adding to see if the dealer has gotten to 21. So we can do the same for the second card. We'll just copy paste this. Just update this to a 2. And so the comp value equals 2. Now this solves for if the cards the first two cards the that the dealer receives are jack queen king and ace but they can also be one of these the two through ten so we have to make a scenario that encompasses those so let me just copy this and what we'll do is if the if the card is not equal to a jack and not equal to any of these Got the or that's important then we're gonna say that the first card is going to be equal to whatever came out when we did our shuffle and we're gonna do the same for the second card we'll just change this to a two and I'll talk a little bit more about this so it makes more sense in a second. Um, so this would be comp card two. All right, so what these if statements are doing is obviously the first ones are saying if you're any of these, you're a jack, queen, king, or ace, and you're the first card, we're gonna set that value to a new variable, comp val one, which is gonna be equal to 10. And it does the same for the second card that the um dealer received. But now you can also have that scenario where it's not any of these face cards, it's one of these already numeric numbers. So it's saying if you're not one of, if you're not a jack, queen, king, or ace, and you're, and it's the first card, we want, we want the comp val one, like the comp one, comp val one um, variable that we defined to be equal to the value of the card that we received, because we know that the value is just going to be a number. And we did the same for the second card. So this solves for, you know, getting the first two cards for the dealer and making them into something that we can add.
So now we can define a variable dealer and that will be equal to comp val1 plus comp val2. All right, so let's just print this out. Let me print out the list because the list we've already appended, so it's going to bring back the first two cards. And I want to bring back the total so we can see that all our coding is working correctly for this part. So uh, this is showing that the, the cards that the dealer received was a 10 and a 3, and then the total is a 13. So let's run it again. They got aces, so that's a 20. So it is working. Great. Now we can go on to the next part, which is dealer only gets one additional card and must take a third card if the sum of the first two cards is less than 17. So we need to check to see if this dealer total is less than 17, and if it is, then the, then the dealer will automatically get a third card. So let's do it with an if statement again. If the dealer total is less than 17, then the dealer gets a new card, which we'll do the same way as we did up here with random.choice. And then reference the list we had created. And then I want to append this card to our list of other, to our computer list, which will hold the first two cards in it already. And now we're at the point where they're, they're, the dealer has been dealt a third card. And now we just have to make sure that it gets converted similar to here because that third card could still be a jack, queen, king, or ace and we're gonna have to take the value of that as well. So I'm going to copy this down here and copy this down here as well and then just change the variables. So this one, if this would be new card, because that's the new one that we're looking at. Okay, card, one more. Okay, if new card is equal to any of these face cards, then let's do comp val3 will be equal to 10. And change it here as well. Card is equal to jack and not equal to these. Okay, and again we've got to indent this. Indentation is important. Val three, comp val three, and this will be equal to new card. So similar to what we did up here, um, if the dealer's total, which we calculate here, is less than seventeen, they they're going to get a new card, and then we're going to append that new card to the list that we have created already, which houses the first two cards they received, and then similar to how we converted the face cards to a value, we do the same with a new card that the um, dealer receives. So let's do dealer total is equal to the dealer total that is already here. So dealer total is equal to the dealer total. So it's going to add to itself and we want to add comp val3 to it. So let's run this program. Let me run out the list and the dealer total. See, make sure we have everything coded correctly. Yep, so queen and seven, 17. So we've seen that already. It didn't get to this third card, you know, because the total was, wasn't less than 17. Run again, there we go. So for this one, the first card that the dealer received was a was a four and then a queen. So that equals 14. 
and then they were forced to come down to this one down here because they were less than 17 and now with the third card which was a 5 they have a running total of 19. So this takes care of the dealer part of of this program. I'm going to stop here and in the next video we're going to build out how you know the actual player meaning you when you play against it the logic that goes into place for that it's going to be similar to this obviously because we're going to be using these jacks queens kings aces if statements to convert values but there's going to be one additional piece because of the fact that you can take as many cards as you like where the dealer was limited to only getting one card if this specific scenario played out you know the player has the ability to get as many cards so that's gonna have to be built into the program so I I hope you guys enjoyed it um, please like the video subscribe put any comments and continue coding and I will see you guys later